but it's not quite there yet. See, Skype Skype does need a lot of work. And I'm sorry this guy had to get split into two videos. For some reason, the phone just stopped recording. See, that's another thing. I just got a Tumblr. Someone shared a photo with me on Tumblr. And the thing just cut out and stopped my video recording. So now I have to split this into two videos. And because I don't want to take the time to have to go and turn it into one video, because my video editing software is terrible, uh, because I haven't upgraded in a long time. So I don't even bother using that crap anymore. So I'll be upgrading sooner. I'll be doing reviews on different software products that I'm upgrading and using. Uh, and I'll obviously I'll put links in the bottom so you guys can go try them out if you want to or uh, give me your opinions on them. But uh, anyway, getting back to the subject. Um, yeah, Skype needs a lot of improvement. What's another thing that needs a lot of improvement? Video editing abilities on the phone are terrible no matter what app you go for. I've tried most. I've tried, I think I've tried at least 10 different ones. They all were pretty mediocre to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, that's no no nice way of putting that. Um, uh, cloud storage is good. Access to cloud storage is good. Uh, space, memory on the phone. See, even at 64 gigs, which is the max you can go to on the GS3, 64 gigs just is not enough built in. Um, we need to get to the point where we have 250 gig solid state in the phone ready to go. And micro SD cards need to expand their abilities beyond the 64 gig mark as well. Um, I have a 128 gig uh, full size SD on my Toshiba Thrive. It's one of the few tablets I can do full size SD. And I see myself filling that up rather quickly. And I do fill it up rather quickly. Um, I have uh, two 2 terabyte hard drives that I run as backups for my computer. Um, we There's just not enough memory. The phone needs to have 250 gigs. The, mo the micro SD needs to have. 250 gigs. You need to have 500 gigs on your phone. I'll be honest with you. If you want to completely replace your laptop, you need 500 gigs. Um, another thing is the screen quality is good on phones, but I don't want to say it's sharper on my laptop because it's not the pixel density on my phone. I forget how many PPI it is. I want to say it's like 260 PPI in the S3, but I'm not sure. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the pixel density on my computer is less, but the screen's brighter. So that's something that needs to be looked into as well. Because when you're out in the sun, and I have two screen protectors on my phone. I have one that is a film, you film over the front. And I also have a uh, OtterBox Defender case that has a second screen protector over it. And with those two on, the screen is just not bright enough. And they need to account for that, because they, they made the phone kind of flimsy and plasticky. They need to expect people are going to want to put cases on their $600 phones. I mean, it makes sense. I use T-Mobile, I use their value plan, I bought this phone outright. So I'm going to put a case on it. Even though I pay insurance on the phone, I don't want to get held up for two weeks waiting for the insurance to kick in. They need to work on that. That's something they really need to work on is the screen brightness. Um, uh, another thing that needs to work on is something that Motorola has been doing good. I commend Motorola for this, but I have reasons I don't like motor some of the Motorola products. I'll go over those in a different video. But uh, is the uh, ports. I'd like to see every phone have micro HDMI. Uh, I'd like to see every phone have the mini, uh, the micro USB standard. See, a lot of phones don't, but most phones do. So, um, another thing I'd like to see is uh, the. I already talked about graphics processors, regular processors, um, battery life. This is the elephant in the closet: is battery life. If you've watched my videos before, I have a little 12,000 uh, milliamp hour bat battery backup I use for my phone slash anything else that runs that you can charge with USB cable. Um, the 2100 milliamp hour battery in this is simply not big enough. They need to double that at least. And they need to make it have something other than lithium ion. I'm thinking lithium polymer because I'm only getting 500 recharge cycles out of a battery and then the battery starts like dying out on me. Lithium polymer supposedly will do about 2,000. And yeah, it's a little heavier, but come on, a little heavier. It's probably 5 10% heavier at most. That's being very, I don't know, that's that's really heavy, 5 to 10% more. Well, I really doubt it's that much, but even if it is, it's worth it. Uh, the battery needs to go way up. They need to up that to 4,000 milliamp hours, and they need to make the phones more efficient. Um, my S4 Snapdragon processor burns a lot of power. And I know I'm asking for a lot here, more powerful graphics processors, more powerful CPU, bigger battery, and more efficiency. That's a lot to ask for, but and not to mention the bigger hard drive space. That's a lot to ask for, but 
I think it can be done in the next five years. They'll be able to do it. I think five years from now, that'll be a reality for us. Uh, I'm going to keep updating this if I think of anything else, but uh, for right now, I think that's about it. If you have any other ideas or things that you think need to be changed in the mobile platform, let me know. Anyway, catch you guys later. Peace.